Today we're going to multiply fractions. So let's get started. All right. So I had one third times three fifths. Whenever you multiply fractions, um, the only thing you need to do is multiply your numerators, multiply these two numbers, and multiply your denominators. So we're going to multiply the top numbers together. 1 times 3. And we're going to multiply the bottom numbers together. Okay. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, um, now we need to determine if we can simplify or reduce this fraction. And we're going to do it the exact same way we've been doing it. Uh, we're going to um, um, list our factors for 3 and for 15. Factors for 3 are 1 and 3. The factors for 15 are um, 1 and 15, 3 and 5, okay? But the common factor, they share a 1 and a 3. Those are the common factors, but the greatest common factor that they share is 3. Even though 3 and 1 are the, the factors, they're just, they're the common factors, but we want to find the greatest common factor. And 3 is larger than 1, therefore I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So my final answer is going to be 1 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay? Let's try another one. 1 half times 4 fifths. Okay, I'm going to multiply my numerators, which is 1 times 4. Then we'll multiply my denominators, which is 2 times 5. Well, 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now I need to see if I can reduce this. Okay, so I'm going to list my factors for 4 and 10, oh, one, which is going to be 1 times 4 and then 2 times 2. And my factors for 10 are 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Well, what are, the, what are their common factors? 1 and 2. Well, my, since my greatest common factor is 2, then I'm going to divide the numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2. And that's going to give me an answer of 2 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is my final answer. Okay. I would like for you to try one now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go with um, 2 thirds times 5 eighths. Okay. If you will please um, freeze the video and solve it, and when you're finished, turn it back on. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to multiply our numerators, which is 2 times 5, and our, my denominators, which is 3 times 5. I'm sorry, 3 times 8. It's 3 times 8, all right? 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 8 is 24. Now I need to see if I can reduce this. And, by, and in order for me to check and see if I can reduce it, I'm going to look for my greatest common factor. So I'm going to list my factors for 10 and my factors for 24. Okay? So my factors for 10 are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. My factors for 24 are 1 and 24. 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Alright, 
So my fact, my common factors, what numbers do they share? They share one. They share two. Uh, they don't share a 10, and they don't share a 5. So my greatest common factor is going to be 2. So I'm going to divide my numerator and my denominator by 2. And that 10 divided by 2 is 5. 24 divided by 2 is 12. This is my final answer, 5 twelfths. Okay. Um, if you have any uh, future suggestions for future videos, um, please email me. And you can email me by going to mathwithmoon.org to um, leave me messages. And I'll see you next time.